Hello everyone, it's Jason here, and welcome back to uh, Skyblocks, the Xmas special. Uh, oh jeez, that lava. That's probably going to burn my bridge down. All of my bridges burned down, I listened to this song very recently, and now it's stuck in my head. Dear God. My sister has this track. Uh, like a CD called School of Pop. The only good song on it, and everyone will condemn me for saying that this is a good song, but it, it is gang, gang, Gangnam Style. What oh, fuck, Gangnam Style? Uh, every everyone used to love Gangnam Style. I remember. Everyone used to be saying, "Oh yeah, Gangnam Style. You ain't heard of Gangnam Style? Who the hell are you? Get out of my country. Get the hell out of my country. Because if you ain't heard of Gangnam Style, you weren't cool." And then, like, a few weeks, like, or a month or something afterwards, I was like, oh, I always hate Gangnam Style. Yeah, I always, I, I always hate Gangnam Style. Uh, where, the, what, what does the fuck say is where it's at. Yeah. That's what happens with fads. People think, when, when they're on, they're the coolest thing that ever existed. But, as soon as they, as soon as they're a few, like, weeks old, um... People are just like, screw this, I, I got better stuff to do. Um, and they just actually hate it. They actually turn against the very thing they, they once loved. And that is a bit, that just sums up society today, I think. Um, no one's ever, uh, someone actually did a video, uh, Jacob told me about this. It was called, uh, Flip the Harlem Shake. I'm, I, well, I don't want to say the actual word. I, I will save my swearing for TF2. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so it's just like, F the Harlem Shake. It's getting old like Gangnam Style. It went something like that. Jacob sung it to me. Um, much to my utter, no, I can't say utter delight with this joke. Oh, God. No, no. Just, just, no. Anywho, so when I'm just like, a Harlem Shake used to be a, a main thing that people were doing, and now people are shunning it. Um, I'm not sure how to feel about this. I mean, I I never want to start an internet fad, so now I'm not going to surfing bird anyone because everyone's going to love it at first, but then they're going to hate it. They're going to actually hate it and buy and thus hate me. Like, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm a bit nervous about that. This is the risk you take when you uh, do YouTube. You never know, if you're going to start fad, then eventually people are going to come to hate you. And some YouTubers, it must be tough with, because they have channels that are famous at first, but then um, they kind of sort of lose their fame. I'm just trying to make a furnace here, because I can't be... Bothered to walk all over, all like over there, and just, yeah, I, I need a, I need a stone pickaxe. I thought I was gonna make a furnace. Like, oh no, I need more sticks. I need a stick over here. Doesn't have to be large. Just has to, uh, it'll, any size will do. That is what she said. I can guarantee you that. A girl somewhere in the world has probably said that. Right, now let's um let's uh, let's, let's try and uh, get over there. Get over there. First, I kinda wanna smoke my uh, iron stuff. Right, uh, I have I have a thing that um the next next like fads are becoming so Fast, I can't keep up with them. And one of these times is YouTube channels. Some YouTube channels will be really popular one week, and the next week they will be that hated. Like, I, I, I don't know, but it, it seems to me that, you know, this, this is becoming a bit ridiculous, guys. We have to, I mean, sure there's some, some, some YouTube channels, like, we can find a channel that, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not too good either. 
or we can find a YouTube channel that everyone doesn't go ape shit about first time they, they see it and then they start hating it, it straight after it gets old. Like, I don't know. Like, I remember, I remember when In the Little Dream came around, everyone was like, oh my god, it's the best thing ever. In the Little Word and KRJ, I can't pronounce the name. They're doing a channel and now everyone's just hushed down about it. Like, uh, no one ever talks about it on, uh, no one ever, I, I have not heard uh, much talk about it, but apparently it's still going. Um, yeah, let's check. Oh yeah, I got some mine. Hmm, some ores. I love me my ores, boy. I'm telling you this. I'm an engineer. That means I solve problems. Not problems like, what is beauty? That would fall within the preview of your conundrums as philosophy. I solve practical problems. Like, how am I supposed to stop some mean old motherhood from coming in and turning me into structural superfluous behind? The answer get a gun. And if that don't work, you use more guns. Like this. Hefty old number I, I made now on a tripod. Designed by me. Built by me. And you best hope not pointed at you. Bit of a meet the engineer quote there. I, I have a feeling that the Medicus is a really interesting backstory, but I have not come across it yet. Like, I haven't been able to find any kind of backstory to uh, the Medic, except for he was Based in a town called Badburg, uh, Germany, probably not a real place. Uh, Badburg, not uh, not Germany. I'm pretty confident that Germany is a real place. Otherwise, what the hell is that thing that is like just across the channel to Britain? Like, what is that like a, a separate part of France or something? Because I was 99.9 percent .9 sure. That was Germany. Um, yeah. If it is in Germany, could you please leave a reply in the comments? Because I'd really like to know what that is. Um, <laughs> oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Germany is definitely a thing. It's gotta be a thing. Dear God, it has to be a thing. Oh, oh no. I know what I can do with all these snowballs, right? Genius. I am a genius. Look at me. A freaking genius! I can, what I can do, right, is I can throw snowballs at monsters. Ah. Ah, I bet you viewers didn't thought, didn't think I'd come up with that. I bet you thought, Jason's, Jason's really stupid. He would have never thought something clever like that. But here I am. I I'm um, bringing, bringing you guys a bit of innovation. <laughs> I'm actually quite pleased with myself now. I will do a little dance. Um, yeah, bust a move, Steve. Bust, bust a flipping move. Oh. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wait until it gets dark. Um, I believe mobs will only spawn uh, if you're in the vicinity. Uh, otherwise, the game doesn't bother generating them in. So let's actually go over to this island, because I believe these islands over here are the darkest. I believe I can injure them with snowballs. And maybe uh, finish them off with a, a melee. Right, here we are. Yeah, this is, this is the business. Yeah, this is the real business, guys. Let's kill some monsters. Hmm. I'll actually end the episode here. I think we'll do that on the next episode. So I'll do one more episode of. Actually, I'll just exit and save here because I have a lot of civilization work to get done. Uh, I, I I don't know if I'm gonna finish up for Christmas. I'll probably finish it sometime within the Christmas holidays, of course. Um, but yeah, 
If you're watching this video on Christmas Day, happy Christmas Day, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're watching this on an iPod, make make sure you tilt it horizontally. That's that's always the best. That's always the best way to view videos on your iPod. Anyways, I've been Jason. You've been fantastic. So I'll see you around, guys. Bye.